Welcome to the Lady Yum Yum Show. Today I'm making the sweetest and best, in my opinion, sweet potatoes, candied sweet potatoes that I know how to make. And I use a crock pot. Um, I do that because a lot of times when I'm making sweet potatoes, I'm making lots of other things like for Thanksgiving or Christmas, so I need the extra space. And I also think they come out sweeter when they slow cook. I think it's kind of a longer time for the sweetness to soak into the sweet potato, and it just makes them really great. The first thing I'm adding is two tablespoons of butter. You can use buttery spread if you're vegan, or olive oil, some kind of fat. It doesn't really matter that much which one. Ah, butter tastes a little better, maybe. Then you're going to add loosely packed brown sugar, and I'm adding a third of a cup. So see, it's nice and loose. I didn't pack it in there like I normally would. And then a third of a cup of maple syrup. There we go. Now I'm using real maple syrup because I like the flavor. I highly recommend the real stuff. And about a quarter teaspoon of mustard. I know, mustard and sweet potatoes, but trust me, it's really good. Yummy, 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 yummy. Okay, and some salt. Um, I'm just gonna use a salt shaker here. You probably need a good half a teaspoon. You can adjust it later to your taste. So I'm just going to let that all combine in the bottom of my crock pot while I go prepare two pounds of sweet potatoes. I'm going to peel and cube two pounds of sweet potatoes. Now, pretty much anything you buy in the United States is a sweet potato, even if it's labeled a yam. And I like the ones that are pretty dark orange, so they kind of have this reddish skin and they're pretty orangey inside. Those are my favorites. So sweet potatoes are on my menu for any winter holiday. They're one of my favorites. I like them mashed, I like them any old way. I like them roasted. I'm, I'm always making sweet potatoes. Here I have my sweet potatoes and I'm ready to put them in the crock pot. So now you can see our butter's melted and our sugar is dissolved into it. We're gonna put all our potatoes in. And we're just, we're not going to fill it with water. We're just going to add water so that it comes up to about an inch from the top. So we're just gonna add some water and I'll show you when it gets there. That's good. The reason you don't have to cover them is because they're going to shrink down as they cook and go into the liquid. So I usually stir them at the beginning and then I'll stir them once or twice while they cook. Depending how hot your crock pot is, they'll take oh, an hour to almost two, depending how hot it is. The potatoes should be just about done. Oh yeah, they're done. You can see, you can easily put the fork in it, very easily. So now here's my secret for making these extra special yummy. I take out the potatoes. I'm gonna leave the liquid behind, and I'm going to reduce the liquid in a frying pan until it's a syrup, and then pour it back over my potatoes. This makes a huge difference. It just adds so much sweetness and it just gives the right consistency as well. I always grew up doing these in the oven and just layering some butter and brown sugar on the potatoes and they always had kind of a watery, liquidy. They tasted great, but I never got enough of the syrup, you know? Now I'll turn on the burner on a high, high temperature and we'll bring this to a boil and we'll just let it reduce. We'll let it boil off all the water we added until it becomes a syrup. You can see it's a nice caramel color and it's nice and thick. See how it stays spread out? So we're ready to pour this over our sweet potatoes. Now we're just going to layer this on, just get it all over. We'll give it a good toss when we're done and I get every little bit of syrup out of this pan because it tastes so good. Give it a quick little toss. 
Make sure everything gets tossed around. And that's all there is to it. Now at this point, you could sprinkle some pecans on top or you could put um, marshmallows. That wasn't a tradition in my family, but I know a lot of people like marshmallows on their sweet potatoes and put it on, under the broiler or just serve it as is. Sometimes they also smash them at this point. They taste really good that way too. Let's give it a try. Mm. The caramelization of the syrup at the end makes the difference. And that slow cooking, the flavor goes all the way through the potato. It tastes so good. Give this one a try. It's one of my favorites, especially during the holidays. See you next time.